What's happening people? We're out and about again today and as you saw in yesterday's vlog I came across the Spanish Aldi here in Mallorca, in Magaluf to be exact so I thought for a little break from the food reviews I might go have a look round see what kind of uh, see what kind of, of things are in there see what kind of prices they've got and just a general being a bit nosy tourist probably get probably use that um, Peter K joke where he says uh, less Cadbury's finger is <laughs> you've seen that remember that one Peter K he says they're abroad and they're just about 48 quid let's see what they're uh, let's see what they're actually like so they're just currently building some uh, new houses or apartments around here, this area here um, but it's just down the road here I have come it's the middle of the day it's quite busy um, there's a little main road here you turn left and then there we go <clears throat> so as you can see behind me Aldi is situated straight across the road from the um, Sol Kathmandu hotel like I said in yesterday's video that is quite a, a, a child friendly hotel um, it's got all games and soft play and climbing frames and all sorts of things if you're a family then if you come into Magaluf you can you can come on an excursion there we have done that before um, but you can obviously you can just stay there um, I think everything's like included and things like that maybe some you have to pay for some stuff to, I don't know so Alde is straight across the road from Sol Kathmandu which is behind me so let's go, let's go down there and you can just see it's got a little bit of a different um, logo Alde now so we'll uh, We'll go down there, we'll go in and have a look and then uh, yeah, we'll see what I can pick up, see if I can pick up any goodies from my room.
So I don't actually know what I've bought there. I think I've bought a Cornish pasta, some sort of, um, it looks like a, a tart or a, it says carne, so I'm thinking it's like a chilli. I don't know, we'll soon find out. A packet of crisps, I'm sure that said lemon. And then uh, some what I think is like orange, like an orange energy drink or something. And I got some chocolates at the till, as they always do for you at Aldi. They put me on the, uh, put it on the till. So, I'm gonna go back to my balcony and give it a go, I think. Because my hotel is just around the corner, so let's go. So apologies for the lighting, uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do on this balcony, the sun is out and you can't really complain about it. So, as you saw, I bought these two pastries, so just put that receipt under there. So I've got this one that looks a bit like a Cornish pasta, I mean it's absolutely never ever in a million years going to be a Cornish pasta, but that is why I bought it. And then we've got this one which I'd say looks like a bit of, like a tart, and then looking on the um, Looking on the on the description, obviously I don't speak Spanish, and looking it inside there, it said carne, so I'm thinking it's a like a chili, a chili tart. However, I don't know what it is. I also bought some pimienta and limon crisps. So lemon crisps, so I thought that that'll be something else. But this is I stonk naranja sin gas. I'm guessing that is just fizzy pop. So, we'll see what that is. And then, when I was at the till, in typical Aldi fashion, I ended up getting Chapella's Cacao. So, three little chocolate cakes or something, whatever these are. And the total price was six euros and 14 cents. So, 20 pence for a paper bag. So, it was 5.94 for the food. So. This can of pot was 45 euros. Uh, there was obviously a euro, it says it on it. The crisps were 165, actually the most expensive thing. The crisps, 165. And the pastries, this one was one pound and 49, one euro 49 cents, sorry. And this one was 135. So, I'm gonna open them up. And uh, let you have a look inside and then we'll give them a test. So, this tart looks a little bit like a, um, a pork pie actually, and it smells like a pork pie as well. It's got like a meat centre and you can see like jelly and things in it. We'll give this a go, I'm going to taste the inner first. <laughs> it's a pot pie. It's a pot pie with a little bit of a kick. Looks like there's some like red, red seasoning on there. Yeah, don't mind that, pot pie. Especially mushy peas and mint sauce though. This Cornish pasta, however, I'm gonna uh, try the drink first actually. I stonk. It's not fizzy. Sin gas means no gas. It's like, um, it's like um, orange oasis. 45 cent a can, not too bad. So in here, it looks like there's a lot of onions and I don't know what that is. It looks like a massive raisin or something. So this might be a like a vegetable style Cornish pasta. And this, this smells a bit spicy actually, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. We'll go for it. A bit strange to be honest. It's got the, the outer is a Cornish pasta, the, the pastry is Cornish pasta style pastry. 
but it's just lots of onions and tiny bits of like, raisins. Little tiny bits of raisins. I'm sure someone's going to put in the comments uh, what it actually is from the from what he said on the on the um, in the store. Well, out of the two, I absolutely, and this is probably obvious as a British man, for the pot pie. Right. Let's give these crisps a go. Pimienta and limon, so something in lemon. I haven't done many crisps on this channel. Um, don't really make do many desserts either. I don't really ever done a dessert actually. The lemon. <laughs> I don't mind them. They're not bad. Right, chocolate time. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but I thought for a euro, they were at the till. Chapella's cacao. Let's give them a go. Come individually wrapped, you get three for a euro. Oh, they're like big, they're quite big. Like cakes. That's the only problem with uh, walking back from the supermarket, they've melted a little bit, not too much. Huh. They're like mallow inside, and they've got cream inside as well. Mallow, is that a thing? I think that's a brand, isn't it? So it's like sponge cake inside, but with cream. And I think a bit of caramel or toffee or something like that. Like I said, not really a chocolate fan. But if I had to have something, it'd be more cake style like that. My favourite thing is probably pot pie. Then I'll go for the lemon crisp because I quite like them. I'll probably finish them. Cornish pasta. There's not a Cornish pasta, I know. Not so much. Um... But I could eat them maybe with a, but I'd need a cup of tea. I've only had one good cup of tea and that was at breakfast this morning. So, oh. so that's a little walk around Aldi and uh, picking up some random stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll uh, catch you tomorrow for a normal food review because I think I might even try to go for a curry tonight. So you might see that tomorrow if I manage it. But it is Man City Arsenal at the time of filming. Big game at Premier League, so I might end up going for a pint. I do fly home tomorrow. We will see. You'll find out tomorrow. So if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, and uh, give me a comment. What's your favourite foods from uh, Spanish Aldi, if you've ever been? And I'll catch you tomorrow. I'll give you a look at this view before you go. Special. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't buy that again.